distinguished guests, the 2022 Commander-in-Chief Trophy winner, the United States Air Force Academy Falcons. Distinguished guests, the President of the United States. Please have a seat. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. You probably heard we got a ball club here today. And uh, it's great to welcome the Falcons and so many of the fans of the White House for this ceremony. It includes our second gentleman, Doug, and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley. He played hockey. <laughs> And you wouldn't want to screw around with me if you had your uniform on, I don't think. But uh, I'd, also like to, <laughs> I'd also like to welcome the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, General Charles Brown. Charles, stand up so everybody can see you. This is your team. All right. Yeah. And the Vice Chief of Space Operations, General Davis Thompson. General, stand up so I can see you. Representative Don Davis is here, a proud graduate of the Academy. Congratulations, old buddy. <laughs> Lieutenant General Richard Clark, Superintendent of the Air Force Academy. Where, where, is, where is, there you are, get, get, get up there, man. When I met the team, I thought he was a middle linebacker. Uh, you're looking good, General. <laughs> You know, I, I played a little football growing up in high school. I wasn't bad. In college, I was bad. Um, but uh, I learned so much about teamwork and respect for my coaches, and, and uh, just like you fellas did. And uh, Coach Calhoun, it's an honor to have you here. It really is an honor to have you here. And uh, in fact, uh, you've been here for this trophy so often, I think you're going to start calling it the Blue Room Long Blue Line Room Trophy. <laughs> I... Uh, In a few weeks, I'll be headed to your home turf for commencement. You're going to get stuck with me being your commencement speaker. And uh, we're 10 of these cadets behind. We officially become officers of the United States Air Force and, uh, and Space Force. 
About 65 years ago, during the uh, first remarks to the first class of the Air Force Academy, President Eisenhower, I wasn't there, President, <laughs> no matter what the press says, uh, but President Eisenhower said, and I quote, the basic soul of what you establish now will live on, end of quote. The basic soul will live on. Well, what is that soul? I believe the soul is the breath, the life, and the essence of who we are. The soul is what makes us, us. Simply put, you can't talk about the soul of the nation without talking about our service academies, and I believe that. And you can't talk about the service academy without talking about duty, teamwork, service, and excellence. That's all about you. Five All-Americans, 15 bowl wins, and now 21 Commander-in-Chief trophies. And uh, I expect you to carry it home, Coach. <laughs> you see it over there? That's, you know, that trophy's bigger than the Super Bowl trophy. <laughs> no, it really is. So, so you may need help carrying it. But anyway, more than any other academy, with stats like that, you might assume that you'd all end up uh, here today, that it was inevitable. But you knew it wasn't inevitable. You knew how the hard work and teamwork and having each other's backs, how much it would take to keep this legacy leaving, living on. And so by game day, play by play, you ground it out together. You beat Navy, you beat Army, you beat Colorado for good measure. <laughs> <laughs> Just letting who's whose state it really was. And after looking at the scoreboard, they must have been thinking you took your service motto, aim high, always above, pretty seriously. And at home on the road, you also broke record after record. The number one defensive team in the nation by yards allowed. Pretty darn impressive, man. And the number one rushing offense in the nation averaged over 300 yards a game. As they say, as they say in Delaware, you've done good, kid. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, 300 yards a game. And how about a fullback and co-captain Brad Roberts, who became the first ever to win the national rushing title? Congratulations, buddy. A quarterback and co-captain, Zeke Daniels, who set two school records, one for the longest run from the line of scrimmage, 94 yards. As a quarterback, he must have been really chasing you, man. <laughs> and the second, the longest completed pass, 92 yards. That ain't bad. I, I, I... <laughs> Folks, our offensive lineman, Isaac Cochran, who became the Academy's first All-American player in 30 years. Isaac, where are you? There you go, pal. And Isaac, if I say anything you don't like, let me know ahead of time, will you? <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. That's incredible. And on top of all this, you defeated the Baylor Bears in the Armed Forces Bowl. The coldest bowl game ever, just 11 degrees. I don't know how you all set that up, but you did it well or as you call it in Colorado Springs, a balmy spring day. <laughs> you had all those wins while drilling, training, and serving day in and day out at the academy as cadets. After every game, you hung up your uniform, and you immediately put on another one representing your nation, the United States of America. Simply put, you've not only carried on the academy's football traditions, you've stepped up to join a long line of American service members each a link in a chain of honor, each one. And you know that when it comes, when you, when, when you do become officers, that is the team that matters most. You continue to have each other's backs. An Air Force team, a Space Force team. Together you represent the very best of who we are as Americans, and that's not hyperbole. Your school motto, if I take a little liberty with it, you, you put integrity first, service before self and excellence in all you do, in all you do. That's not only your school motto, it's who you are. It's who you are. Proud not only to have achieved, 
but all that you can do if you continue to work together. That's who you are. That is why you're the soul. Like President Eisenhower said all those years ago, that soul will now live on another generation thanks to you and all our brave service members and their families. So as your Commander-in-Chief, it's my honor to award you the Commander-in-Chief's Trophy. As I said, Coach, why don't you show people how you can pick it up all over your head for a while? <laughs> and I said, it's bigger than a Super Bowl trophy. It's pretty incredible, isn't it? I know it's not the first time you've seen it. <laughs> so congratulations. And one more thing, let's fly. Let's fly. May God bless you all, and may God bless all our airmen and graduates, and of a particular thanks to your families. And now I'm going to hand this over to Coach Calhoun to say a few words. Coach, you can use either mic. Mr. President, uh, how grateful we are. And uh, it's all of us. I mean, truly, uh, the remarkable leadership of our superintendent, his wife, uh, Lieutenant General Rich Clark and Amy, uh, the fantastic standard that they set there at the academy, uh, their inspiration, their principles, their discipline, but most of all, just their day in, day out commitment to our young men and young women there at the United States Air Force Academy. On behalf of our athletic director, Mr. Nathan Pine, and, uh, and the entire United States Air Force Academy, how fortunate we are to have great, great support uh, not only in here with, uh, within the confines of Washington, D.C., but throughout our nation. And uh, unequivocally, we already have 10 that have graduated uh, that are out doing splendid things in both our air and our space force. And uh, hopefully real soon, uh, here in four and a half weeks, we have 10 more that will serve and serve so, so well. And uh, <clears throat> it's our honor to be here. But even more so, it's our honor to serve the greatest nation in the world, the United States of America. And uh, at this time, I'm going to bring up, now he's from New Jersey, not Delaware. That's good, I married a Jersey girl. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our two captains, Hazik Daniels, quarterback, and, uh, and running back, Brad Roberts. And uh, sir, they have a couple of small items here for you.